Hey everybody, your boy Tony from Cali once again, live, another beautiful day. Today is February the 13th, 2017. I'm your boy Tony from Cali. Everybody know me. And I got a gentleman over here I just ran into yesterday. We were going to do the vlog yesterday, but um, he has some things he had to take care of. And uh, what's your name, man? My name is Michael. Okay. Talk to the people. Go ahead and use the mic. Well, what do I say? Um, uh, well... What do you want to say to the people? Uh, uh, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, what, what are you here for? Well, I'm a minister. Um, you know, the Lord has called me out here to uh, spread the news. I'm out here in Las Vegas right now. And I don't know, just to be an energy in this place. Because this place is uh, it's unbalanced. You know, it's just a lot of chaos and whatnot going on. And, you know... There has to be a balance. Okay, elaborate a little bit on that. And, well... What do you mean by the, what, what mean by the chaos and the balance? Of, just give people an idea where you're coming from. Well, you know, balance as in, you know, just... It's a lot of backbiting going on around here. Just a lot of, you know, homeless people. You know, they've been verbally abused. They've been, you know, just put down to the point where, you know, they want to commit suicide. And, you know, it's just a lot of just demonic activity and you know god sent me out here i met up with my brother gabriel and it's just been you know he's going through problems getting beat up and stuff like that and you know it's just you know the lord i feel like the lord just called me out here to set a balance to be an energy to to to, to pray over the place to to just just i don't know separate you know uh you know? Yeah. So how long you been out here? And um, have you encountered a lot of, um, you know, what have you encountered since you've been out here? I've been encountered, as as people? you know, a lot of demonic activity. And I've been out here for like six months. Okay. And i just been wrestling, been fighting demons. You know, it's a lot of demons out here. It's a lot of uh, just verbal abuse. It's a lot of... Um, you can feel it. It just uh, it oppresses you. It it, it depress. It makes you depressed. It just eats away at you. And you know, a lot of people don't have a you know enough strength to pray. But you know, it's just like I feel like it's just war, spiritual warfare. It's, it's real heavy out here. And you gotta, you know, you gotta put on the whole armor of God. And you know, I know a lot of uh, street ministers out here. They hold signs up, you know, and they pass out tracts. But it's more than that. I feel like you got to really be praying over these people. You got to, you got, you know, you got to fight the demons. It's a lot of demon activity going on around here. That's true, so, that's true, that's true. Yeah. I've been around a lot of, a lot of demons, man. I've seen them. I've seen them. And uh, so what do you do to, um, to to stay away from all that? Or should I say, do you stay away from it or do you tackle it? I don't drink. I don't smoke, you know, I don't and, you know, fornicating stuff, you know, as far as that. You know, it just it, it makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. It makes you, you know, it, I, I believe that drinking makes you docile, smoking, um, just living, a, just just any worldly thing. You know, okay. I feel like the more you separate from worldly things, the stronger you become to, to, to know yourself and find Christ and to draw closer to Christ. You know, it says draw close to God and he'll draw close to you. I feel like we the more we separate the more powerful we become, you know, the more we know ourselves. That's true. That's true. Uh, I, I've done that for a long time. I separated myself from a lot of, not just people, but like you said, spiritually, sometimes you got to go and just go somewhere and, and, and pray and meditate and mm -hmm. things like that in order to um, let stuff bounce off of you. That's why I tell people all the time. Stuff bounce off of me all the time because I'm always thinking one way. I'm thinking one way. You know, I'm, I'm praying. You know, I'm, I'm grateful I'm, I'm, that I'm alive today. I'm thankful that I'm alive. I watch the news every day. I told you I'm an independent journalist, mm -hmm. right? You didn't, actually, let me see my mic a minute. You got to ask me, you got to ask me, what do I do? You didn't even ask me what I do. Well, what do you do? You already told me I, I was strange that I come out here and do this. No, I, so, I mean, it's so, not strange. It's, what, I mean, ask me, what do I do? What do you do? Computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital video broadcast special effects engineer, slash senior audiovisual engineering telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster on my reality show, Tony from Cali Reality, born in 1963, all in HD, worked at Burger King, did my own thing. We're here right now, HP TV, helping people TV. That's what I do. 
Hey man, that's what that. I, I think. I'm handing it back to you. I'm handing it back oh, to you. Oh, uh, well, I... And I want to say one other thing. My boy Rico out there. I used to work with my boy Rico. He knows who. Let me let me tell him this. My boy Rico out there. He know I used to work with him back in the day. Uh, he was saying one thing that you do as a reporter. He says you never hand your mic to the other person. Well, this is the people's mic. This is not my mic. This is the people mic. That's why I hand it over. I'm not the average reporter. The average reporter is gonna sit here like this and say, "Yes, reporting live. This is what we're doing." No. I'm going to hand my mic over to the people, and that's what it's all about. I'm handing it over to the people, Rico. Hey, well, you know, it's just like, you know, God is calling his people, man. He's, call, he's separating the sheep from the goats. He's, uh, you know, he's dividing, man. I mean, the wheat from the tares. And, oh, right, okay. Well, we, still, we still alive? Go well, ahead. you know, he's, he's dividing the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares. And, you know, it's, it's people don't realize, you know, like, they, you know, this whole uh, Trump thing going on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, making America great again. America will not ever be great again. I mean, it's only going to get worse. The Bible even says, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to get worse, okay. you know, in Revelation. So, I mean, if you read your word, you know, and it's just like, I mean, we could pray for the best, but we got to expect the worst, you know, and it's, it's, it's getting bad. Man. You know it's what I'm right. saying? Well, you know what? My message is to you, my brother, is to, is to tell you that. Yeah, it is going to get worse. Um, a lot of people are losing their lives right now. Like I said, I watch the news every day. I'm an independent journalist. I see young kids losing their lives in car accidents and all kind of different things happening. I am I am very grateful to be alive. I'm 53 years old. How am I looking? How am I looking? How am I swagger looking? Okay? 53 years old. I'm talking to people. I talked to a friend of mine. She's from... Um, uh, Nigeria. I told you about that. I talked to my friend from Nigeria. Talked to her for like two hours. Couldn't believe that. And you know what I'm saying? It's just people that I'm meeting right now are coming into my life. I'm coming into their life. That's what it's all about. You know, positive energy. Um, like I said, once again, I'm, I'm 53 years old. You know, I pray and I, and, I, and, and, I, and I believe in God. And at the same time, I'm not out here to, um, I'm, I'm out here to make some changes. Don't get me wrong. But I know I can't make all these changes. I'm not the president, and even if I was the president, I couldn't make all these changes. Oh, so I don't, I don't look at what the president can do. I don't look at this president or that president. I voted for Jesus was my, was my, um, exactly. Jesus was my president. I already voted for him uh, last year and the year before that and all the other years. And, and to be honest with you, when we really break it down, I have never even voted. Yeah, yeah, I, never, I shouldn't tell you all that. I ain't never even voted because, yeah, I vote for Jesus. I voted for Jesus since I was a baby. So here I am out here doing my thing. Facebook Live, and I'm, I'm meeting people. I met this brother out here last night, you know, and, and you know, he had a lot to stuff. He had a lot to say. He had more. You had more energy last night, man. Put that energy out there. Show, get, put that fire out there, and tell them what you, how, how you, how you want people, what you want people to know. Let them know. Uh, well, don't be shy. Yeah. I know you're camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> Let them know. Well, I'm just he man. Just jumped out at me last <laughs> night. I was walking down. I was walking down the sidewalk, and he just jumped out and said, "Would you tell me? Would you say?" Tell, tell me well, it's just, you know, the world is ending. I mean, we at the end. I mean, it's the end times. And, you know, the Lord, he, he's separating, man. You know, sheep from the goats. And mm -hmm. it's just, you know, you got to you gotta, you gotta to make up, you know, you choose know whom today you're going to you, serve. If you look at the you Bible, know? it says that. And if you look at all the stories, it was always a separation. And the majority is always going to lose. Yeah. Okay, the majority is always going to lose. So I, I look at the numbers. I'll be like, okay, you got 89 Man, million people it's, out there. It's whatever. a war. It's, it's a yeah. war. I'm like, if I'm one of the ones that's winning, let me win. And it's not about exactly. the materialistic things. It's not about the cars, the houses, the boats. I had a lot of that. And I still, you know. At well, point, somebody, what, what people fail like to realize that. is that, you know, somebody got to be on the winning side. You know what I'm saying? You got you, you got devils, you know? and then you got, you know, spirits. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like we warn against each other. This is war. This, people don't look at it as war. They like in the churches and whatnot, and they mm -hmm. praying mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, you know, Joe Osteen and all this, man. <laughs> but it's it's not about that. This is war. Right, right. This is, you know, you got to put on your armor. You got to be ready to fight. Thank if you. Look, you look at all the love you're getting right there. That's love coming in from around oh, the world. for real? Yeah, that's uh, love. Oh, that's cool. That? Shoot. I don't even know who's doing that. We got Joe Marquez out there. Yeah, you got to be ready to fight, that's man. Love. I mean, look at that. if you're not fighting, then, I mean, uh, I don't, I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, In Jesus' name. That's, that's what we out that's here doing, doing, man. That's what we have and to it's fight. A, it's an army. I mean, it's an army of Satan versus army of God. It's fighting, man. I could be a boxer. 
<laughs> no. Like for real. But, that, but he right. It's about war. It's about we need to get the word out there and tell people what's really going on because a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are nervous. A lot of people are worried about Donald Trump, the president, worried about this and worried about that. You know, it's survival to a certain extent. I survive. I live out here every day. I just had Subway a little while ago. Yeah, it was good. I just had Subway. I just had great soda a little while ago. I got some iced tea over here. I'm surviving, but at the same time, it's about it's a war. You know, yeah, it it's like if you if you're in a war camp, what are you gonna do? You gotta you gotta hide. And you gotta shoot. You gotta do whatever you gotta do. You gotta run. But we in this war right now. Yeah, I'm getting some love right now. I see. Let me see the people out there. I see Calvin Boykin out there. I see uh, Joanna Taylor. I see a lot of people out there. Hey, Amen. Thank you. Thank you. That's what it's all about. We live right now in Las Vegas. We could be at the casino right now, you know, putting our money in the machines. We could be doing anything. There's a lot of prostitution, pro prostitution out here. All kinds of stuff. There's hella girls out here. They looking good too. Yeah. But no, we're not doing all that. He's talking about fighting for the Lord, and I'm gonna give it back to him. Here you go, to the people. Yeah, you gotta, you know, we gotta put our armor on. We gotta be out here fighting, you know. And the Lord, He's getting His army together. No. <laughs> What's good? He's, some, he's, some of your high top fade was getting cut off. <laughs> you know, he's, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about them girls. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, he's getting, you know. Look all the thumbs up you're getting. You, uh, man, they're yeah. talking to you, man. Tell, yeah, talk to the people. Man, I mean, Calvin good. Boykin. Ju uh, Juana on, Taylor. Yeah. Oh, you were giving it back to me. <laughs> all right. He's, you know, I can talk all day. Everybody know who I am once again, and I'm not going to go into everything, but like I said, I'm meeting people out here. I got fighters out here. He jumped out at me. I, I'm telling you, man, he jumped out at me and scared me a little bit last night. I ain't going to even lie. I was walking down the sidewalk right here. You see the sidewalk? I was walking down that sidewalk right there, and he just jumped out at me and said, the end of the world, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you know you did. Now, yeah. tell the people the same thing. Let them know. I already said it, man. I okay. Mean, I don't know. The end of the world is coming. I'm telling you that right now. I'm your boy Tony Vocali. I'm usually a neutral uh, reporter. I don't usually get into a lot of the things that's going on. You already know that, but you already know my stand. You know what I believe in, and thank you. Thank you for, for all the love out there. I look at all them hearts. I love you guys out there who I see. I still see Joanna Taylor. Am I, saying that? Am I saying your name right? I don't even know. But I love you out there. That's what it's all about. Love, love, love. We're supposed to be spreading love. We're supposed to be uh, preaching the word. We're supposed to be fighting. Like I said, if I got to get out here and fight hard, I'll fight hard in Jesus' name. You know what I'm saying? Punch somebody down on the ground in Jesus' name. No, nah, you ain't supposed to do that. But <laughs> I guess you could do that. If somebody was trying to attack you, you know, then you could defend yourself, and then you could punch them down and say, Ugh! In Jesus' name. Give it back to you. What? You want know, to sign off? Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> We're going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, live uh, Facebook live shot here. I love you guys out there who I see out there. G swing. I see all kinds of people popping in. I love you guys. Stay keep strong, keep strong. Got to got to got to be strong out here. You know? Got to got can't be afraid of the fight, you know? For real. <laughs> and y'all know I'm a buff brother. You see me, you see me, you see the you see the different size of me against this little brother right here. You see what I'm saying? I am a buff brother. You got to be strong, strong in the faith doing what you got to do, take it to that next level, and don't be scared. Don't be scared of nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. You see how hard I look on the streets right now? Yeah. I'm, I'm Tony from Cali, but people know me out there in Sacramento. Y'all know me out there as Hot Dog, yeah. But Hot Dog is now Hot Link. I am a strong Tony from Cali, Hot Link. All right. <laughs> we broadcasting live. We're going to get on out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all the hearts, man. I don't even I want to keep on talking. We're going to get on out of here. We got to leave, folks. I love you guys. Stay tuned. Once again, HPTV. Preaching the word. Be blessed out here. Stay strong. Stay in the faith. You know, I got y'all's back, man. Always. For real. Go and do a prayer. Go and do a prayer, bro. Father God, just, just stay with you with your people. You know, give us sincere hearts to serve you. Separate us, mold us, shape us, lead us, guide us. Give us the whole armor. You know, we all important in your army. You know, strengthen the army, Lord. Make us fighters. It is the heart as lions. You know, strengthen us, Lord. Make our minds sharp. Keep us away from all just backbiting and hatred. Give us strength, Lord. In your name, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's where we are. You know, we hardcore fighters out here, and we're going to keep on doing it. So if y'all agree with us on this, give us some love. 
Thank you for the love. Give us, you know, let us know what's going on. Subscribe and all that kind of stuff. You know, like I said, the social media thing is all new to me. It's new to me, man. This is all new to me, but how we doing? How am I doing? doing what you think about the bro? This is called the bro pod, the bro caster. What you think about that? It's nice. <laughs> I mean, you like you bet, no, okay. he put it together himself. <laughs> so we, we streaming right now from the bro pod right now, Maryland Parkway and Sahara out here. It's getting dark. I'm getting a little nervous out here right now. I'm going to have to get, yeah, I'm going to have to get hard, but, um, <laughs> We're going to sign off once again. We love you guys out there. HPTV, bring it to you live. HPTV, Channel 63. Your boy Tony from Cali and my main man. Michael. Yeah, Michael. And, and we out.